Hi guys, welcome back to another AGS tutorial. Um, I looked, was looking back long before I, you know, quit for six months and didn't make a video, uh, and I realized that we were doing. Um, remembered that we were doing GUIs the last time, so I was gonna do a couple, just a couple more videos on GUIs to finish that up uh, before I move on to something else. Um, what we're gonna do in this time is, um, if you remember before I'll bring up the the name GUI that we talked about before and if you remember we um we did a GUI where it had a button oops didn't mean to do that we had a button a text box and a label and that was just three of the controls up here that you could choose from uh, button label and text box there's actually three more and I was gonna go over three these three um, actually two one of these in this video and we'll go over the other two uh, in future video. This one I'm going to talk about is Listbox. Now Listbox is just a, a list of items. It's a way to display a list of items to the user and let them choose one of the items um, you know from, from a list. So first of all I'll show you what we're trying to accomplish here. So this is what we're going to um, create in this video. Um, we're going to create a dialog box that basically asks the user to choose their personality. Um, uh, this isn't something I didn't in Sammy's Quest. It's just an example of something, of some way that you could get uh, the user, to, for example, choose for, from a couple of different values. So it's going to ask, choose your personality. You can either choose I'm mad or I'm happy. Um, if you choose mad, there's a little picture over here of a cat with a with a gun um, aiming out the window. And if you choose happy, it shows a picture of a um, monkey uh, smiling. So whichever one you choose. Um, it will change the picture according to which one ever one you choose and then you click OK and um, it will go from there and the dialog box will go away and you'll be able to play your game. So that's what we're trying to do and then let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do is right click on GUIs and create a new one, so new GUI and we'll call this one um, let's see, let's call this one G list box uh, what we're going to do, as you saw, is have the user choose a personality. Um, so the first thing I want to do is resize this this um, this dialog box. So let's make it 100 pixels wide, let's say by oh I don't know 150 pixels tall. Um, yeah, that's that looks about right. And then let's go ahead and put our list box in the middle here. Um, we got to save room for the picture on the side, so let's put our list box about like this. Make it a little bigger so it fits. And then, now the picture on the side is not, there's no control up here to allow us to display a picture um, directly. Uh, there is one, however, in the button. We can actually put a button on the side and we won't um, do anything if the user clicks on the button. We'll just use this button strictly for displaying a picture. Um, as you saw in the in the um, the sample, so I'm going to click that button then, and the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is take the text out of it. So go down here to the properties and remove the text from the button, which basically gets rid of the um, of the button and makes it invisible, which is okay. But I really want it to be 50 pixels tall or wide by 50 pixels tall because that's the size of the sprites that I'm going to use um, when displaying the monkey and the cat. So that's what I want. And then I'm going to put a label across the top that says, uh, go down here to text, change it to choose your personality. And that looks good now we just need a button at the bottom that they can click on to say okay so you see how easy this is once you start um, laying out your dialog box it's fairly easy um, to do I'm gonna make that text uh, centered now the next thing we want to do is import our sprites uh, the problem is is that the 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 sprites that I got off the internet um, I just did a Google search and look for those sprites. I'll bring them up here. Um, this one here is the kitty sprite and then this one is the monkey sprite. And for one thing they're different sizes. Um, for another thing 
they're too big. They're far too big uh, to put in our game. We really want to reduce these down to 50 pixels by 50 pixels, and there's no way to do that within AGS. You really have, or at least not that I know of, um, you really have to uh, scale them down manually in, in, a, in a graphics program. I'm using paint.net. Let me uh, make this window smaller so you can see. Uh, I'm using paint.net here. Um, so I have the kitty image open here, and in paint.net, uh, if you search for it, it's a free program. You go up to image, resize, and I'm going to make this 50 pixels by 50 pixels, which reduces the image quality quite a bit. But for this purpose, I think that's okay. I'm going to do the same thing with our uh, monkey, our big smiling monkey. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to save these, um, save these back out to the desktop. Like that. And then let's go back to AGS. Now in AGS, I'm going to open up our sprites folder, go into the GUI graphics uh, folder, which I created last time, right click, import new sprite from file, select kitty sniper. Now you want to make sure here that you, that you select no transparency in the transparent color box um, because we don't want any transparency in this particular graphic. We don't want to be able to see through any part of this image. So make sure you select no transparency, otherwise it'll look sort of strange. Um, and we want to import the whole image. There's no tiling here, so we'll just say import whole image. Do the same thing again. This time we'll do the monkey image. No transparency, import whole image. There we have our two graphics that we're going to display. So now let's go back to our uh, list box GUI. Now by default it's going to be the very first uh, the, the first uh, selection is going to be default um, which, which will be our kitty graphic. So by default we want this to display our kitty image which is image number, let me go back to the um, sprites, image number 711 is our kitty image and image number 712 is our monkey. So um, the default one we want is 711 and there's our cute little kitty with a gun and it's hard to tell at that resolution what that is um, I, I might be able to play with that and make, make the GUI a little bit bigger but for now this is okay you get the idea um, because I made this image so small it's hard to tell exactly what it is um, but anyway so that's what we want to do there now we want to fill in uh, we want to put um, two personalities here, mad and um, happy. We can put more. Uh, I just chose not to. It shows two items here. That doesn't mean you're limited to two items. You can put as many as you want. And if you put too many uh, that will fit uh, in, in the window here, it will create a scroll bar for you, and you'll be able to scroll and things like that. But for now, I'm just going to create two. So the first one is going to be mad, and the second one is going to be uh, happy. Now, there's nothing, there's nothing here in the properties that let you add, um, add elements to the list box. So we're going to have to do that within the script, um, within the, the room script. So let me go back to our rooms, go back to main hall, and go into the room script. And if you remember, this is where um, I showed the player name um, GUI last time or, or a couple times ago. Um, so here, instead of displaying the player's name, um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to comment this out, and I'm going to display the um, personality dialog box. So I'll just replace the name box with a personality, just to give you an example here. Um, so I'm going to say G list box, which is our list box GUI, visible equals true, just like before. But before I show it, I want to. This is where I want to add the items to the list box. So the way you do that is, if you remember, uh, let me go back to the list box GUI. This is the actual list box here, and it was called in the properties here. The name of the list box is list box one. So that's how we'll refer to it in the script. So let me go back to the room script and say list box one dot add item, add item, and it, it just wants a text, a string of what you want to add. Well, the first item I want to add is mad. with a little frowny face. And then the second item I want to add, so I'm just going to do that again, listbox one dot add item. Oops. Happy. And put a little happy face. <laughs> I know it's pointless, but that's just to give you just to give you an example of how to use this thing. 
Um, so I have the two items. Basically, this said add a mad item and then add a happy item to our list box and then display the list box. But we're not done yet. We haven't um, got it quite working yet. So I'll finish it up, finish up the list box in the next video. So uh, hope to see you around, guys. Thanks.